Hi. Hi, Annie. I bothered waving off her paws. She's pieced three times around her. So we turn one of the Google calendars um, has still has Pete Zoom link, and I was there. Also, the directory of documents. I don't know. Maybe it was an old meeting or something. But uh, that's that's how John Marco and I got in the same room there. Hi everyone. Well, sorry about that with the room. Good evening, everyone. Yeah. I'm having my first oh, beer in six fun. weeks. It feels amazing. Ooh. You're going to feel like you weigh 50 pounds heavier in like 30 minutes. Oh, that's not even counting the excessive amount of carbs I ate today. <laughs> Minnie, hi. hi. Minnie is very, very upset with me because we acquired a dog over the weekend and... Ooh. Big mistake. She oh, all cat household. I was going to ask if you were going to show the dog, if the dog was going to make an appearance. I mean, if he comes upstairs, I'll pick him up, but I think he's hiding from the cats right now. So I mean, that is why we're all here right now. <laughs> oh, it's just for Neville. Sorry. I'll see if I can track him down later, but Minerva doesn't want him. She just looked at me like, don't let him up here, mom, please. <laughs> Sorry for uh, being late to open the room. All righty. Do we have people sitting in the waiting room or are we good to get started? Um, there's people trickling in. Okay, cool. We'll give it a couple minutes then. Neville is so cute. We love him. I'll start sharing my screen. And I feel like most of you all have the links to the slide, but there are the links to the slide as well. And then did we have a timekeeper for tonight? I can time keep. Cool. All right. Oh, Tom is back again. So it's five after, so we'll go ahead and get started. If people continue trickling in, they can catch up. The beginning is catch up to begin with anyways. The beginning is catch up to begin with. Woo. Um, so uh, we have a new name, Humanity First Movement. If you weren't on the call last week, we now have a name that's not was something. Um, Yes, Carlos, that is a good point. Um, maybe there are people that don't have the link or couldn't find the link. Um, if somebody wants to post in the volunteer leader, they can at channel, that would be really awesome with the link to the Zoom, um, just so that people know what's going on. Cool, thanks, Brendan. Um, so the agenda for today, we're gonna go over the format, an overview for new folks. We'll do that really quickly. Uh, then we're gonna hear from our working groups um, we may hear from the coalition spotlight. I'm still not 100% sure. Uh, we have, I didn't hear back from Stacy, but we may or may not hear from Stacy from Income Movement today. Um, we'll give our interim board update and talk a little bit about phone banking and then have time for our open discussion at the end. Um, so as usual, we are trying to keep these meetings to less than an hour to respect everybody's time. So each working group and presenter will have three to five minutes at the four minute mark, um, we'll call time. Questions won't be taken during the group presentations, um, but we will have time for open comment at the end. Um, our goal for open comment is to keep those sections to about a minute long. Um, so 40, at 45 seconds, you'll get a 15 second warning uh, and then we'll be moving on to the next person. Um, so if you are new, who are we? What are we? What are we doing here? 
Um, we are a group of volunteer leaders that came out of the Yang 2020 campaign. We are working with Humanity Forward um, to be able to keep this momentum going and build for 2024. Um, every week we have our Sunday Zoom calls where we can connect and in the Humanity Forward um, Slack, you'll be able to find, or Humanity First Movement Slack, uh, you'll be able to find some different working groups where you can get involved, um, as well as volunteer opportunities. We've got internal volunteer opportunities now, which are fantastic, and we'll talk more about those later. Um, we also have a brand new volunteer code of conduct, yay! Um, so our expectation of all Slack members is to uphold the values in this code of conduct. The link to that to read over is going to be on the, right in that slide. Um, and then every time you sign up and fill out a form to volunteer with us, you'll also notice that that is in the um, form. So every time somebody signs up to volunteer, they're supposed to be reviewing that, upholding those standards so we can have a happy community. Um, so mission and vision slash just mission, who's presenting today? That would be me. Beautiful, so... take away. Do you want to introduce yourself at the beginning? Yes, um, I'm Kimberly, um, Mission Vision Group, um, and here in San Diego, nice to meet you all. Um, so yeah, we have a survey for everyone to fill out. Um, if you could do that um, by Wednesday at noon, that would be awesome. Um, it includes uh, three questions and a sliding scale for you to score each answer for those three questions. So the three questions are why does Humanity Forward Movement exists, um, who do our initiatives focus on serving, and how do we serve them? Um, comments are encouraged. There's a section at the end of each page with each question, encouraging to leave comments um, about your opinions and feelings regarding the survey questions and answers. So please do so, and we look forward to reading them and your participation. And please spread this far and wide to your fellow Yang Gang members and Humanity First Movement lovers here and um, on social media. Thank you so much, Kimberly. So regional organizing, who's gonna take it from here? I can take that. Awesome. Okay, so the big push that's coming out this week is um, we've divided up all the states and we're reaching out to confirm, um, you know, who your current active contacts are at your locals and your state levels. And so these are the folks that, you know, if someone reached out and said like, you know, hey, we're trying to get in touch with you or, you know, here's a big push that's happening, that um, those people would be the conduits of information. So totally fine if there currently are none, like there's a lot of uh, state and local um, former, you know, Yang gangs that are dormant right now. So we're just kind of reaching out to connect and, you know, find out what's so. Um, and then if someone steps up to be that point of contact or continue to be that point of contact, our other request to them is that when they can no longer do it, they either replace themselves or ask, um, you know, just communicate with us, I couldn't find a replacement. That way we're kind of reconnecting the body so we can kind of achieve all these goals uh, that we're trying to do. So the other things we're asking are, you know, what are the platforms which you primarily communicate on? And, um, you know, have you been meeting? If so, how regularly? And if you're working on anything, um, are you incorporating as a humanity forward chapter? Are you uh, working on COVID response? Uh, campaigning with local candidates, um, supporting uh, platform resolutions in your state's Democratic Party, you know, what's going on? And then we'll be reporting that back out to kind of the Yang Gang widely. So everyone kind of has an update on what everyone's doing. So come join us uh, in the regional organizing Slack channel and we meet Wednesdays, uh, 7.30 Eastern time. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Catherine. That is Catherine M, the mysterious uh, Adventure Time character who posts everything in Slack because she's absolutely amazing. If you don't know her, now you do. All right. Diversity, inclusion, and outreach. Hello, everyone. My name is Kiara. I'm just going to update you all uh, with what we've been doing within this working group here. Um, we came up with a new incident report and onboarding template um, that we will use within the scope of the HR structure. 
We're currently um, reaching out to Yang Gang, who are a part of various affinity groups and communities in order to learn more about their stances, existing community organizations, social media ties, and community agendas. Um, we're inviting people to give presentations similar to the ADOS or ADOS presentation that um, we gave. And just in case people aren't familiar, ADOS is American. Um, and there's a link to the presentation, starts at around 6 minutes and 12 seconds. If anyone's interested in taking a look at that or being a part of this, please come to our meetings, join our Slack channel, and our weekly meetings are on Thursdays at 9 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time, and the Zoom link is actually posted um, in the channel currently. So, thank you all. Awesome. Thank you so much. And yes, your lighting is always perfect and hair and makeup. It's fantastic. <laughs> awesome. Working group Grow 10X. Go ahead. Sorry, everyone. Hello. Um, yes. So basically, uh, we got this. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't have the presentation in front of me. One second. Okay, it's on your screen. Okay. So uh, we are developing a, a guide to growth um, based off the Yang Gang Handbook. So it's basically going to be our Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, detailing every single uh, strategy and tactic that chapter can use to grow and develop. Uh, we're hoping that even a, a single member in a small town will be able to pick up this guide to growth and be able to start in, uh, meeting other people, inspiring other people, and eventually organizing and preparing for future growth. Um, so this is a big project. It's, uh, it's more of a long-term project, um, but if you get in the ground now, on the ground now, you can uh, establish with us the priorities of growth. Uh, we're eventually going to have to do a lot of research on different strategies and what other groups have done to grow quickly. Uh, we're still investigating deep canvassing, uh, which is a revolutionary new uh, set of techniques for canvassing that could be really effective in building up um, building up our uh, our numbers. And I'm I'm glad you think so, Drew. Uh, we need to train dozens and dozens of people through this group so that they can spread those uh, techniques throughout the movement. Um, and I just really liked this comment from Keith that he mentioned that really hones in on the, uh, the focus uh, on normal people rising up to become leaders in their com communities. Uh, what does it look like for an artist or a parent or an entrepreneur or an en engineer to join a political movement? Um, what can it look like? How can we encourage the contr contributions of normal people who might otherwise feel daunted? by usual politics? How can we involve people who have little time to devote to politics in ways that feels meaningful to them? So come join us uh, on Wednesdays uh, at 5.30 for that. Awesome, thank you. And that is Brendan from Arizona, one of our amazing fearless leaders. Moving on to organization, management, and communication. Hey, this is Nicholas. Uh, so our task force to try and clean up the slack and get some of these initial protocols in is um, we're, we're getting close to wrapping up. We've got a master list there linked in that has um, pretty much all like drafts of all of the work that we've actually done. Uh, all of it is still open to feedback. So anyone who wants to look at it and add some thoughts to it, it's, it's meant to be as uh, ubiquitous as possible. So the more feedback we get on it, the better. Uh, we're currently trialing all of the recommendations that we've come up with in a lot of the OMC channels uh, and subgroups. And yeah, by April 30th, we're gonna hopefully have everything ready to go and be promoting it org wide. Um, and then I dropped in, a, last week I mentioned the OKRs, the objectives and key results, which I think is a really good way to concentrate um, our efforts as independent workers. And so this week I came up with just a rudimentary example from what I've learned about it that you guys can look at to get a little better sense of what it's about. That one is specifically for the task force that we've been working on. Um, and ideally, each working group will be able to come up with something that makes sense for them. Beautiful. Thanks so much, Nicholas. 
Oh, what happened to my screen? Oh, I opened up the link. Whoops, sorry everyone. Hold please. This is the uh, OKR brainstorm. Here we go, we're back. <laughs> All right, working group tech. Hey, it's Peter. Hang on, let me uh, get on the microphone. Uh, let's see, so we kind of rebooted the group um, on the meeting on Saturday, which was a new time in order to get all the key players or as many of them as possible involved. Um, so for this coming week, we plan to release version one of humanityfirstmovement.org, which is a WordPress instance hosted on an infrastructure uh, by Travis Klein. Um, next week's meeting, we're hoping to present and well, we're hoping that Travis will present and start a discussion around his G Suite proposal, um, discuss the CRM dialogue that's been developing. There's been a lot of work put in already. It's kind of a same page, kind of make some decisions on how to go about discussing it. And um, yeah, we'll begin uh, talking about privacy and analytics, which is important because there's potentially um, personally identifiable information even just from basic analytics and we want to kind of have an idea of how we deal with having that information and who has access to it what it's used for that kind of thing um, yeah and that's about it beautiful thank you so much Peter onboarding and slack cleanup did we just talk about All right. onboarding uh, Yeah, this, this tab, yeah. Uh, just uh, providing a quick update on this specifically, uh, leading off of the OMC thing. So one of the updates that we're planning on making by 4.30, one of the main things to come out of the Slack cleanup group is rolling out an onboarding process, uh, as well as doing some light Slack cleanup around the channel naming. Uh, so we have a, I guess, a comprehensive list of announcements that I'll be posting uh, after this meeting in the Slack. Uh, but basically between Monday and Thursday, we're going to be at a high level. We're going to be making some minor adjustments to the Slack channel names, and we're going to be launching a new all start here channel, uh, which will have a lot of introductory information and an onboarding message. So we'll also be using the uh, uh, greet bot, which is a Slack feature to, uh, I guess, help onboard new members as part of our onboarding 1.0 rollout. Obviously, this is an iterative process. We're hoping to improve on it. Uh, but by April 30th, we will have at least uh, a shell structure in place so that newcomers to our organization are not lost and have all the introductory information they need on site. So keep an eye out for that. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tab. I know Slack can be very overwhelming. I look at mine sometimes and go, eh. So anything to clean it up is really appreciated. <laughs> awesome. So we are two candidate support. Candidate support? There, Where, I was oh. having trouble unmuting myself, but now I've unmuted myself. Um, hi, everybody. Um, so um, I will give you the update on candidate support. So um, it, the, ten, the tentative time for our candidate support meetings um, are going to be for set from on Saturdays um, from either uh, one to two uh, from one to two p.m. Eastern. Um, and that's ten to eleven a.m. Pacific time. Um, if you want to be a part of that, you can join the uh, WG candidate support channel um, and uh, and get involved there. Um, also wanted to put in a, a quick update for uh, what we're doing with Distributed Forward because that's um, that is somewhat related. Um, so we have an open call for anyone and everyone who wants to become a volunteer leader um, within uh, within Distributed Forward. That's going to be tomorrow, Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern. Um, we're recruiting any kind of volunteer leader. So um, whether that's, uh, you know, leading the, oh, there's a puppy. Um, <laughs> whether that's leading the calling and texting teams, um, whether that's candidate uh, and uh, candidate and campaign support, you know, just doing basic outreach, um, communicating with the candidates that we're already working with, making sure that, that their needs are met. Um, volunteer experience design, that's one thing that, that we're really excited about. Um, just making sure that the volunteers who do get signed up um, have the best experience possible. Uh, make sure that the flows, you know, that, that everything flows properly. Data and analytics, social media experts, digital media experts. Um, we're really wanting this organization to be a volunteer-led organization. 
Um, so if you want to be a part of that, um, uh, a part of that team, um, there is the link right there. It's distributedforward.com slash leaders. Um, sign up there and uh, we will see you tomorrow at 7 p.m. on Zoom. So the end. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, Drew. And Neville heard your voice and wanted to come say hi. Hi, Neville. Hello. Neville, hi. Okay. Awesome. Interim board. Did anybody want to talk for the board tonight? I only put one thing down on this slide uh, because it's our biggest, most exciting thing yet. Uh, we have our first call with Andrew tomorrow. Um, so we are really excited. Um, we can share, I believe, I'll have to check with uh, Tom, correct me if I'm wrong. He built out um, a set of questions that we're going to ask um, that have already been presented uh, to Humanity Forward as well as to Andrew. Um, so that is really exciting. We'll get to hear um, and we'll share that with you all as soon as we can. Um, this last week, what the board was really working on, um, we're two, getting two volunteer, internal volunteer uh, projects set up. Um, so we had our first round of Humanity Hangs, which was spearheaded uh, with Humanity Forward and Brendan. So I've heard tons of great feedback about that. We've got more coming up soon. Um, and we launched phone banking this weekend, which we'll talk about in just a tiny bit. Does anybody else from the board have anything else to add? Um, so related to us uh, having our first call with Andrew tomorrow, we, he is also launching his podcast tomorrow and he's gonna be on Zach and Matt answering a bunch of questions that uh, people have submitted. So I hope you'll uh, check out both of those too. Awesome. Thank you, Yenny. So this is a list of all of the meeting times for all the different groups. Um, I will not read through all these. They're for you to read through at your leisure. When you, if you saw something today that you're interested in, find that group on this list and start attending their meetings so you can get involved that way. Um, so COVID response. Who is here for COVID? That sounded weird. Who's here to talk about what we're doing because COVID is thumbs down? <laughs> <laughs> I can speak a little bit about um, what happened over the last few days with income movements involvement and coordination. Um, I hear, hi again, Kimberly here. Um, uh, yeah, so we did a um, social media drive with hashtags of bail out the people and congress pass ubi it was fairly successful we got both of them trending on friday um and saturday i believe um uh we also had a car parade it was really awesome the here in san diego we had a couple of reporters come out and give some coverage if you guys look at slack you can see some of the postings that were made about that and I know that there were ones happening in LA, in Portland. Yenny, I believe you organized one. I saw another one somewhere in middle America. Um, I know there were a handful of, of others. Um, so yay on everybody for coordinating so quickly. This all came together within like a 36 or 48 hour period. So it was very fast. Um, so congrats and good on us for doing what we did. I hope that it does make a difference with um, the next bill that they're putting together and that we can see some movement on our emergency UBI uh, initiative. Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. I know I was really inspired um, watching the news coverage. Y'all did an amazing, amazing work down there. So great job to everybody who participated over the weekend. Lobbying Congre Congress is exceptionally important write to your senators frequently write to your house members frequently they work for you make them listen to you beautiful um sorry my screen i can't read things uh current volunteer opportunities um we have a working group called volunteer opportunities we have not done a great job launching this in a fantastic way um, was anybody here to talk about volunteer opportunities? If not, I'm happy to. Five, four, three, two, one. Just no. to save, save Brenda some time, I'll, I'll take this one. Okay, thanks, GPS. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, there's a new working group called Volunteer Opportunities. It's basically uh, going to be a repository for, you know, kind of like a Craigslist of stuff to do. Like, you know, we're all very so fired up and ready to do everything we can to move this country forward in the humanity first way. 
and we're going to be using this working group to, you know, um, propose things to talk about, to post um, projects we're working on currently. The main ones is, as already been mentioned before, the Humanity Hang. We need moderators for that. Um, I don't know if we're, for those that are not aware, um, Kimberly Hill stood one a couple of days ago and Andrew himself crashed it. He had an amazing time conversing with people. And uh, these are more than anything for people to just have a place to speak with other people and just, you know, just relax. Because right now, a lot of people can feel very isolated and it's very important that we show our values in, in any way that we can, even throughout whatever we're facing right now. So I've managed to sit in a few of them. They're amazing. I've met some amazing, amazing people. Um, and I encourage everyone, if you don't want to join us, I mean, if you want to join and take it a step further, help us moderate it. We need people that can dedicate the time to create these amazing spaces for people to join and converse. And we're also doing the COVID relief callers. So as you all know, Andrew is doing um, the COVID relief fund with partnering with a lot of people, handing out um, cash to people in need, mainly in the New York area. What they do need, though, is people to help contact the applicant so they can share their stories. We want to humanize this process as much as possible to help um, move this entire UBI conversation forward. And then currently, we're seeking uh, some members for the working groups. We can use some in tech, the um, uh, Org Organizing Management Comm subgroup for communications, and the legal, which is a new one. We want to make sure we, write, we stay on the right side of everything. Um, if you have any lawyers that might be interested in helping us out, it would be tremendous. And then branding. Uh, we're trying to uh, just create our own little of course, branding for things in general. So a lot of happy, exciting things going on. Uh, we're, we're at a good phase where everything's just starting to ramp up with stuff to do. So looking forward to hearing from everyone. Awesome. Thank you, GPS. There's another page too. So those are all of our internal um, opportunities to volunteer. We also have some external ones as well. If you want to read these too, if, you want, if not, I can. So if you... Oh, thanks for the correction, Catherine. Yes, um, the micro grants are going to people in all 50 states. I wasn't aware of that. Um, so yeah. now I know. Beautiful. So the external ones, um, income movement, lobbying Congress, we talked about that just a second ago. Lots of fantastic work being done there. Um, as Drew was talking about earlier, we are also looking for volunteers within Distributed Forward for calling, texting, and anything you're passionate about, there's probably a place for you. Um, and then uh, Young Americans Coalition for Unity is also have also has some volunteer opportunities for the young, the young at heart or anybody who feels youthful in their life. Um, so Andrew Wan, who was our um, youth director for the 2020 campaign is run, heading that up. So lots of great work to be done outside of the specific Humanity Forward volunteer opportunities. Um, now I'm gonna talk about a little bit more about phone banking. Um, so as we were talking about, we are giving $250 grants to as many people as humanly possible. Um, with Humanity Forward. We're up to almost 50,000 applicants, I believe. So that's a ton of people. This weekend, we launched our phone banking pro program. And basically what you're doing is you are calling these folks um, to kind of reach out, make sure they're doing all right. We know that the people are facing financial strugg struggles, but they're also facing some social struggles too. Being locked in your house can be very isolating and very trying. So these calls, you're not asking them for money. You're not asking them to vote. You're not asking them to volunteer for you. You are calling to hear their stories, to connect, and then we're going to be giving them 250 bucks. So it is a fantastic way to lift yourself up and others as well. Um, this weekend, we onboarded 13 callers. We are looking for at least 100. So we have got a lot of opportunity to grow still. But those 13 callers made about 200 calls and talked to about 55 people. Uh, we've got a lot of training opportunities that are going to be coming up in, over the next week. Um, on Monday and Tuesday, uh, we're hosting three trainings each day at 12 p.m., 5 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, on the next page, you'll find all of those Zoom links. So please share these far and wide. We are looking to grow and grow quickly. Um, we will be launching phase two of the phone banking program where we will be texting all these folks before we call them and they can choose what time works best for them. Um, that way we're not doing straight cold calls. As you can see on that last slide, we're getting about a 25% connection rate right now. Um, but when we make those pre-scheduled, we should see like an 80 plus per, or connection rate because people will answer the random number that calls them in the middle of the day when they know it's humanity forward and there's $250 coming to them. Um, so that is phone banking. Please join us. It's really effective and really fun and it'll make your heart feel really happy when you make these phone calls too. 
Um, cool. Is income movement on the call tonight? Brent? I don't think we got to them early enough to yeah. really get them on here. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, then, Jonathan Herzog, we've got you tonight to talk about your candidacy. Hello. Well, thank you all so much. It's so awesome to be here. Thank you for your leadership and your activism and hope you all are staying safe and healthy and sane in any way that we can. Um, but yes, I am Jonathan Herzog. I am Yang Gang and I am running for Congress in New York's 10th district, which is the west side of Manhattan in South Brooklyn, on the very simple premise that Yang Gang goes to Congress. Um, so about two years ago, I uh, dropped everything and uh, moved out to Iowa to help build and kick off the Yang campaign out there and help um, Andrew qualify for the Democratic debates, um, get on Rogan, um, <laughs> and make him uh, and, the, and the movement um, um, just grow and grow and grow. And so it's so incredible to see uh, all that it is now with all of you. So some updates of where we are at right now in the congressional race. We have eight more weeks until June 23rd. The field has now shrunk from eight to three after more than $2 million has been spent. Uh, we, we've actually only spent $8,000 um, to make it on the ballot. Um, <laughs> because in true Yang Yang fashion, um, that's just how we do. We are a scrappy grassroots movement. So um, because of COVID and the governor's executive actions, um, uh, this is um, some good news is that people in New York will be getting, uh, will, will all be mailed uh, absentee ballot request forms. And I just wanna lay out some of the math here because it's pretty stark. In eight weeks on June 23rd, if we get just 2% of all people that live in the 10th district or 5.26% of all registered Democrats in the west side of Manhattan and South Brooklyn, which is my home, which is Andrew's home, which is the Yang 2020 HQ's home, um, we have won the seat. We have unseated a 30 year incumbent that's never faced a serious primary challenge and we have won the seat. And just think about the shockwaves uh, that will send when Yang Gang, when a freedom Democrat um, has unseated uh, the number two um, House Dem and winning on a message of a universal basic income in the world's financial capital, in this ground zero for the winner take all economy, for the financialization of our economy, where one in six people live in poverty, even though it's literally Wall Street. So, if we get just 15,000 votes on June 23rd, we have won the seat. And just some updates about uh, where we're at right now. Again, we just came out of the ballot access phase, and so we're officially confirmed and on the ballot. And right now we are calling, we are texting, and we are reaching out to voters because it's all this new digital apparatus. <laughs> so it is really, um, the Yang Yang's moment to shine because we we all together wrote this playbook for how to organize and how to outreach digitally in a distributed way. And that is how we will win this seat. Um, and in particular, we're, we're doing a um, digital dialectic series, which is a YouTube video series bringing on people like Wesley Yang and um, uh, Michael Sandel will be on this week with the goal of um, bringing people from all walks of life um, to translate some of their research and experience to policy and solutions now. Um, and I'll just wrap up by saying this is just one part. We are just one part of what, what we hope to be a wave of Freedom Democrats running in districts across the country because we have to show once and for all that Yang Yang is not here to have a conversation. We're not here to throw around some nifty futuristic ideas. We're here to win. We're here to win big. Um, and the math and the data is, is on our side. 
So um, would be so honored and so excited to have your support and help because as you all know, this is all volunteer grassroots um, campaign and movement and we can 100% get it done. Awesome, thank you so much for coming and joining us tonight, Jonathan. We really, really appreciate it. And we wish you best of luck. It, see, it says on the bottom that if you're interested in getting involved, email info at herzog2020.com to get started. Um, so that concludes our presentation for the night and takes us into our open questions and comment period. Um, so for this, what we're gonna do is we're going to prioritize hands. If you have not used Slack before to raise your hand, click the participant button, and then there is a little raise hands function. If, however, you do not, or if you're host co-hosting, if you wanna hit your green yes check button, um, we will get your hand as well. We've got quite a few hands, so we are going to go to Hexel. Oh, actually, I'm gonna add one thing before we go move into open comment. Um, the last two slides on our presentations, we're going to be doing coalition spotlights. So we will try and do one organization and one candidate every week. If you are interested, please message us in the interim board feedback channel um, and we'll get you added on to the schedule. Um, we want to hear from as many people as we can, different groups, different candidates. Uh, we understand how important it is to get everybody connected and hearing each other's voices. Um, so please post in that channel if you're interested in getting that spotlight slot. Um, but we're going to go for hands. We've got quite a few. Um, Hexel, you'll be first, followed by Burke, Ariel, and then Kimberly. Rick, can you hear me? Can you hear me all right? Yeah, yes, we can hear you, hear you Hexel. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay. All right, so I guess one small question. Uh, so I, I think last time I was on, I, I missed last week, but the week before, uh, someone was meeting with someone at HQ uh, about the nature of chapters and like, what the onboarding requirements would be. So I don't know if there was any update on that. The update that we got last week um, was from Erica. She is uh, in charge of volunteer, everything volunteer and grassroots um, with Humanity Forward. They've been extremely preoccupied with getting money into people's hands with COVID relief fund. Um, that is on the table. It's coming up in the next couple of weeks. Before any decisions are made about chapters, there will be a meeting that's held. And I believe that Brendan is heading that up. Um, they just formally chartered last week on Monday for the Arizona Yang Gang. Um, so he is a great point of contact for that. But yes, we've heard, we, we, you're marked down as somebody to be invited to that meeting, Hexel. Okay, is that, when's that meeting, which meeting is that on the calendar? Um, we don't have it yet, uh, but as soon as there is a time scheduled and Erica is available to focus on um, that chapter organization, uh, you'll definitely be invited to that. Oh, okay, good deal. All right, thanks. Yeah, that's just my question. Sweet. All right, Burke, you are up. All righty, hello, everybody. Um, and hello, Jonathan. It was good to see you out here. Um, you know, I'm, I'm behind your race completely. Um, now to, um, as some of you know, I'm running myself for Nevada State Assembly, uh, District 15 here in Las Vegas. Uh, it's a state position, not a federal. Um, I'm going to echo a little bit of what he just said and basically say, I need about 2,000 votes and I can get the nomination and my district is very, very heavily Democrat. So if I can get on the um, on the ballot, I'm not going to say I'm a shoe in, but I have really, really good odds. Um, I'll keep it short. Hopefully, Faye will be nice and uh, throw my website on there for you guys. Um, and please, you know, any questions or any comments you have for me, feel free to ask me or uh, or message me. Um, there it is, BurkeforNevada.com. Thank you all. And my main thing is, is, is really is universal basic income for Nevada. And then the other thing that I, I'd actually like Jonathan to talk to him about this at some point is decontaminating and cleaning areas. I don't know how many people there have seen the interview that the mayor of Las Vegas did with um, Anderson Cooper. I would just like to say I am completely against that. Uh, I think that's outrageous. Just want to throw that in there real quickly. And my plan is I'd like to, to volunteer Nevada 
to what would happen if you go out and actually clean and decontaminate and, and sanitize, just like they did in, to, to stop the curve in uh, South Korea, Taiwan, uh, China. I mean, to be honest, I just saw Russia's even starting it. There's chemicals out there that are safe that um, I think, you know, us as people that are running should, um, should be a voice for that. So I'm going to um, sign off with just saying that. Awesome. Thank you so much, Burke. And I'm going to scroll up to see this. Yes, burkefornevada.com to get involved um, with Burke's campaign. Uh, Ariel, we accidentally lowered your hand. You are next. And then Kimberly, you'll go after her. Ariel? I see that you're unmuted, but I do not hear your voice. Oh, oh. I can't hear you, Ariel, I saw your face. I'm sorry, I called you her. I apologize. Um, but we still can't hear your voice. Yeah, it doesn't seem like you're coming in. All right, Ariel, we'll let you focus on that for a moment. Kimberly, go ahead, and then we'll go back. Hi, um, so I just wanted to do a quick um, um, ask, call to anybody who has a um, uh, expertise in, in any area of voting, such as ranked choice voting, star voting, we are doing in California, we're going to be doing a seminar on voting choices and, and ways of voting. So if anybody feels like they can do a 10 minute or 15 minute presentation on a way of voting, please DM me and let me know. I'll also put this information up on this call um, in up in the break room. But I just wanted to ask anybody here on this call to uh, contact me and um, and let me know if you feel like you can um, provide some uh, helpful information and synthesized presentation on uh, choice of voting. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Daniel, we'll go to you really quickly. Ariel Lafton is coming back. Daniel Ayers on or? I can hear else? you. Yes, that's okay. yeah. Yeah, I just want to let everyone, I'm launching a Yang Gang book um it's like a biography and of the last year following the campaign so it's uh, there's a indiegogo campaign for it and just letting everyone know you can uh -huh. go to american jobs factory to check it out what was that american jobs factory yep awesome thank you for putting that in their gps he popped dropped in the chat for you okay thanks. awesome yeah, thank you. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ariel. We can't hear you again. If you type it out, we can read it. Yeah, type it in the chat and we'll go over it. I'm sorry. Oh, you typed it already? Okay. Are there any other questions while we wait for our message? You're saying that point out the failures in the existing system. Oh. As Yang Gang UBI members to challenge institutions that are messing up pretty badly. There are a bit of issues with that right now. And then we have a lot of UBI caucus members. That is correct. Um, I know that we have a link of like a Google sheet that has our UBI caucus members um, floating around somewhere on Slack. I don't know where that is, but we've got a lot of really great candidates um, that we can be supporting right now. Many of them are also distributed forward candidates. Um, you can find them on lots of different places. 
but oh no, Faye, we did not announce the Humanity First Movement Discord. Do you want that to is, talk uh, That's that? still in discussion, what's going on with that specifically, so I'd rather leave that until um, next week. Okay. So we can set stuff up with that. All right. Do we have any other questions? Hello? Uh, Hello. I can hear you. Okay. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, just, just some, I, I had to fix it, but yeah, that's all I'm saying. Just like a uh, point at the failures ever since coronavirus happened of like how, how bad these unemployment systems are working and, and how many people are like being backlogged. And there, there's so many stories we don't hear of, of people who are falling through the cracks. Now, fortunately for me, I haven't been falling through the cracks with the stimulus check or unemployment, but I may even be in a minority of people. Like I'm blessed, but a lot of people aren't. So I'm, that, that's just my advice to the people who are running. There you go. You heard all that? Yes, I did. Sorry about the issues. Zoom, Sorry. I tell you. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, thank you for sharing. All right, we've still got a tiny bit left. Are there any other questions, comments, concerns, feelings, thoughts, emotions that anybody wants to share tonight? No. All right, folks. Well, I appreciate you all joining us and giving up some time every Sunday uh, to learn more about what's going on in our different branches of our movement. Um, thank you to everybody who joined us. If you are interested in being a candidate or an organization featured in our spotlight section of next week's call, please feel free to post on our working or our uh, interim board feedback Slack channel. Sorry, we've got a lot of different Slack channels. It's hard to keep them straight in my brain, but there's a feedback channel, drop it in there. Oh, Faye says, hold on. Drop it in there and we can get you on the list to be featured next week. Um, thank you, Brenna. You're awesome. You did a great job. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Also, join Before us for thinking, please. Before everyone drops out, this does convert into a hang after we finish here, so feel free to stick around and chat. Thanks, everyone. Hey, um, and then, do? Faye, you were saying hold on for something? Hi, can you hear me now? Yep. <laughs> okay, so I saw that someone said I can, um, I, I'm not actually a leadership over there, so I don't want to announce anything. You guys know all the stuff that happened in meetings, I don't. Um, I want to, um, what I wanted to say was, how are we getting more people into the room? Because I literally saw like probably 15 people that I had personally invited to various things. And I'm like, is anybody else inviting people? <laughs> and I want to know where, you know, like, when I've got like at least six or seven of you are already our committee people who are, you know, just presenting. So who are we presenting to? I want to get like 200 people in here next time or 300 people. Right? I mean, isn't this the yeah. Faye, where you find out about everything? So. Faye, we're having a little bit of difficulty hearing you. Um, uh, are, you are you talking Sorry. about inviting people to this meeting or to that Discord? Here, to this meeting. I mean, don't you want like 300 people to show up so we can all hear what your, uh, what your groups are doing? Yeah, so the um, the big issue with sharing this too widely is that we end up getting Zoom bombed. So we're trying to figure out what the balance there is. If maybe we move to a different platform for it, we're trying to figure all of that out before we like share it on places that are more public. Um, but anyone, feel free to welcome for, to invite anybody you know that are yanging interested in this movement at all they are more than welcome to join us on this um just we ask that you don't share it in a way that zoom bombers can publicly find it so what yeah, about not, uh, not, but are not on um public facing facebook pages or um groups but uh anything that's um closed private related um more than welcome to share it there so no public Groups, just private groups. Facebook. Private or closed, yeah. So um, and if, you, can like it, yeah, yeah, so yeah. you can post all about it. Yeah, so you can post about it in those places. Just ask them to like DM to get the link. 
that's exhausting. I mean, I'm already posting it like in like 12 different places today. And yeah. I, was, I would like to be able to have like, um, so that means that every uh, old ring game that we used to have, the, you know, we would sometimes have public Facebook groups because that gets more people to share things. Mm -hmm. So it would be nice if uh, each of, we would have to ask everybody to create messenger chat rooms for all of those groups where you could like put this kind of information on there. Okay, so that's, I think we need to make a message um, and let everybody know to, uh, the old ring games need to like make, like, you know, these special groups where you can share your information because I cannot physically that's a good idea. everybody. <laughs> I, yeah. So you're getting disproportionately people from San Diego Valley and like yeah. Texas and like people that I know, you know, and you need more, you need to have it more widely. Uh, yeah, shared. so... Bay, if you want to join the work group uh, OMC subgroup comms, that working group is focused on our external communications and they're going to be forming teams that are going to be getting out uh, that information to all the other communities through social media. So they could use your help. Um, where do you want to put that information? And also, I mean, we should be going straight to people who are um, talking to most of LinkedIn, like Project Crazy and uh, other people who are actually like live streaming to people directly. Um, I see a lot of the content creators are not here. So how are they, I mean, how are people going to get the information? This is what I'm wondering. Yeah, we, we have reached out to the YouTubers and the uh, other content creators and they're booked like a month in advance That's in a lot I'm of cases. Doing is making it so nobody can hear me. <laughs> so anyone who can help us out with getting uh, like interviews with YouTubers or just getting the word out, that would be great. We need your help. We're, we've been trying and uh, it's, it's been hard to, to show people that we're the legitimate <laughs> volunteer organizing network associated with uh, Humanity Forward. We need help to, to breach that gap. Awesome. Okay, so, uh, subgroup comms. Okay, I got it. All right, we've got two more hands. We've got Angelo and then Drew. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear me. Yes, we can. Okay, so. Uh, let me see if the headphones work. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Angelo. Okay, so I was going to uh, comment on what Faye said, and this was something that I'd seen uh, the David Kim campaign do, is we can actually uh, link in and broadcast these meetings um, from Zoom onto different platforms like YouTube and other things like that, where people can see the meetings and they can even... Um, comment on something like YouTube, but they wouldn't be able to Zoom bomb us because they don't have access to the actual Zoom meeting. But it would be a great way to get information out to the Yang Gang. Also, um, Brendan, you mentioned about getting more YouTuber interaction. Um, I've been getting invites from YouTubers to be um, on their shows, so I have those contacts if you'd like me to send a message out to them. Uh, just a courteous heads up, we have a five minute warning. Uh, yeah, a Angelo, I can connect you, uh, connect with you on where we're at with contacting some of them and see to compare like what holes we have before you reach out. Okay. Thank you so much. We've got two more hands. We've got Drew and then Robert. Hey, 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 I'll be really, really quick. So um, uh, as you probably know, Heidi Brionis um, is a UBI candidate who is running in Oregon. Um, Oregon is uh, a primarily vote by mail state um, and their voters are going to start receiving their ballots this week. They've already received their voters pamphlets. Um, so we're having a really big calling effort um, to support her, to get her name out there, to talk to, to Oregon voters about that. It's a really interesting primary. She's got a really, really good shot um, and it's going to take all of us putting in the work. Um, I should have mentioned this earlier, but I didn't. So um, if you, um, we, we're asking absolutely anybody that can uh, to hop on and make some calls for Heidi. Um, you can find the details. I'll put it in the chat, um, but it's, uh, you can go to Heidi2020.com uh, slash call, I believe, um, or distributed forward 
facebook.com slash call for Heidi. Um, it all goes to the same page, um, but, and get the details there. Um, but we need to make those calls because people are going to start voting as early as this week. Um, and we can make a difference in Oregon uh, if we put in the work. Awesome. Thank you so much, Drew. And thank you, Faye, for dropping that link in the chat as well. Um, we'll go to Robert and then Hugh, I saw your check mark. Uh, so Robert, take it away. Hi, everyone. I'm um, just kind of curious which like subgroup or work group um, in, is involved with the, the Facebook because it seems like um, kind of based on what we said earlier um, that we, we need to get that, you know, the, the 50,000 or so 500,000 people um, back back in action um, to kind of have us taken seriously and then maybe um, the, the big YouTubers and such will, you know, go ahead and um, you know, get us, uh, will speak to us more. So if there's a certain group that, that will kind of focus on those, those big, um, big groups or the, the big names we had, I think that'll be neat. I, I don't know if you guys are already doing that in the, you know, the interim uh, board meetings and whatnot, but um, yeah, just think that's pretty important. Absolutely. Um, so correct me if I'm incorrect, but I believe that the working group OMC subgroup comms is what is going to be focused on doing um, outreach and communication to other people as well. Okay. Yeah, that is and correct. We've, and, we, we've, and we haven't even met yet. So like this will be our first meeting coming up. You fill out the uh, when to meet for it. Um, we'll be figuring out uh, what time to meet. Um, and we are already reaching out to some of the YouTubers and some of the influencers on Twitter. Um, we have decided to not quite announce like coming to Slack and stuff. Um, so we were trying to figure out exactly what to talk to them about because a lot of the volunteering opportunities are on Slack itself. Um, so we're waiting until we have a little bit of a, an onboarding process before we put the like the big push out there to get everyone in. Um, because we need to be able to train people how to like join in with what's going on. I don't, we don't want to like open the floodgates and have a whole bunch of people that are lost um, because of it. So. Awesome. So Hugh, I saw your hand earlier. Do you still have a hand? Yeah, sure. I'll have a hand. Can you hear me? Yes, scratch your dog. You got to scratch the dog if you can hear me. Okay. Um, yeah, I just wanted to, to speak to Angela's point. Um, before we had, before we had a name, it was like difficult to implement a lot of nifty uh, things. Um, like that zoom uh, to YouTube thing. Uh, what I would like to do is have people who sign the code of conduct, uh, get the zoom link and people who don't, they get the YouTube link. Um, but it was hard to do without a code of conduct and name for a blah, blah, blah. Um, and also that meeting with Andrew will kind of establish the terms of what we get to say on future interviews with these like YouTube individuals and whomever else. So like, um, I just want to say we're trying to move forward with that, but we had to have some building blocks in place first to make it effective. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that insight, Hugh. Uh, oh, also, I'm sorry, one more thing. Just on the base camp um, being closed and reopened and stuff, um, that was kind of done for multiple reasons, but since there's nothing officially to do, um, it's bad for the page for it to be open. It'll get uh, poorly graded. It'll get lower search results and the analytics will take a hit. So once there are actually established events that will be reopened and um, that'll churn forward too. So don't fret. Thank you for all of your wonderful insights, Hugh, as always. All right, we've got one last hand. It is Burke and then we are going to close comment period and it will move into the Yang Yang Hang section of the evening. Well, my quick question, which I probably could have done this in a comment, but um, I noticed that this says recording. Where does this end up? Or is this get archived later where people can go back and rewatch the meeting? Like I came in late, for instance. Um, and also the other thing I was just gonna mention is I actually run and either run, uh, created, or the admin of over 25 Andrew Yang pages, 
um, Humanity Forward pages and Universal Basic Income pages. Uh, that when you guys are ready, if you want help with you know getting stuff out, let me know because, like I said, I have a lot. And on YouTube, I had a really really big channel. Um, I've kind of let it die away a little bit, but um, I still have a, over a couple thousand members, so I can help there too if you need. Awesome, thank you, Burke. Um, yes, this meeting is recorded, and then it is posted on the. Uh, I'm not going to be able to say this. Someone want to start with department. DOD stands for. Directory, Directory of Documents. <laughs> I was like, Department of Documents, that's not right. Uh, so the Directory of Documents um, is where this video goes afterwards. So yes, if you come in late, you can watch the recording. And if folks aren't able to make it, they can also watch this recording. Where do I find that? Or is there a yeah. link to it somewhere? Yes. So the link is at the bottom of the slides there, as well as it was put in the chat. And I just put a link to the slides in the chat too, if you were missing the link to the slides. Beautiful. Well, thank you all again for giving us an hour of your time on Sunday evenings. We appreciate it so much. Uh, thanks for joining the call. Thank you for all of your work, um, contacting your Congress people the last weekend. I know it was a really hard, fast push. You did an amazing work. Um, thank you to all the callers that started this weekend. If you want to start calling, please join us. There are six opportunities in the next two days to learn how to do this phone banking. Extremely rewarding, and you're getting to tell people they're getting $250. So it's awesome. Um, that is all for me tonight. Thank you. Have a beautiful Sunday. Fare thee well. And then hang out now.